take some pictures. Well, a fun day planned here, early spring. First time using the stump wrecker, my own creation, on the Summit TX25 tractor. And in fact, my first time using a skid steer version of the mini stump wrecker, period. I've used the JDQA version a whole lot. We've sold a whole boatload of them over the last few years. And hey, while well, I'm thinking about it, if you've got some pictures of your stump bucket in action, email them to me. I'd love to use those in some marketing and maybe put them on the website, all sorts of stuff. That'd be cool to have. So if you want to, shoot them over to me. Now what you're looking at is near the front of our property, uh, five stumps, okay? So need to get these out of here. We had the trees cut down. Well, a, a couple of them were already cut down or a few of them were. Anyway, whatever. Th there were the stumps, trees had died. Uh, we had a lot of high water a few years ago, two, three years ago, whatever the heck it was, and it killed off all sorts of trees all over the place. And I think these were part of that. Uh, it was before we owned the house, but I'm thinking that's what happened. So these stumps are two, three years old, somewhere in there. I can see some of the down logs, some of the down timber. I don't know for sure, but some of it does have bark on there. It looks like some kind of oak. I know that there was some maple here too. Anyway, I don't know. I mean, you know, different kinds of stumps are gonna be harder to get out new versus rotted a little bit and that kind of thing. So I decided I'm gonna start with the, the tiny ones and, and go with those and see how it does, get my, my bearings. And so what I found out on the first stump was these trees here have a really significant taproot going off in one direction that you don't know until you start digging it up. And, uh, and so eventually I found that on the first one and as soon as I was able to pop that, and the, this bucket's got like these saw serrated teeth on the side. We went through several variations of those settled on these uh, they were the most durable they wouldn't just bend right away but um, they'd also do a really good job so you can kind of saw back and forth as you're driving your tractor back and forth and really kind of cut through those roots and so that's what i did there and once we got that big old tap root out of there boom the whole thing popped out then there was other another small one too which i think when we were measuring these they were maybe uh, oh about a foot uh, where they were kind of cut off or, or broke off and so about a foot diameter tree um, that one pretty easy i think the first one took 10 minutes the second one ended up taking oh just about five minutes or so pretty easy and at that point i was kind of wondering well that's enough video maybe we don't tackle these big ones and uh i think chris said let's just let's just give it a go and do these other three big ones because these are these are big trees they are dead but these are i mean like 18 20 inch maybe 24 inch diameter stumps uh, depending on which one it is so the summit tractor is bigger than like the john deere 1025r it's not a subcompact so it's not like a kubota bx it's more like a kubota b series kind of in that size range you know for general purposes or like a 2032r for example as far as the weight goes and and everything else so you're seeing how this is still a good fit on the smaller compact tractors as well not just the subcompact tractors and you start to get to that Hold that edge, right? Where you can go with the mini wrecker or the HD wrecker. You know, maybe you're at the, towards the top end of the range for the mini, bottom end of the range for the HD. So you get to that point and uh, I always like to sum it up and say that if you're easy on your tractor, if you're gentle on it, you'll be okay with the HD bucket. But if you tend to kind of go crazy on things, then play it safe, go with the mini. And the reason I say that is because the longer bucket, it's like a longer potential lever out there that can torque and twist a loader arm, okay? And so that's where the mini wrecker came into existence was trying to prevent that from happening, putting these huge, big stump buckets on small little tractors and they just can't really handle it and something ends up getting tweaked. So the mini wrecker is perfect for those kinds of machines. Well, so we gave it a go and it was really just a secret about finding that tap root. You kind of don't worry, don't even bother about going straight on with a stump. Just dig your trenches on the left and the right kind of repeat, you know, reset yourself and do that same thing and see if you can feel out where that tap root is at and then really focus on that. That's gonna make your life a lot easier. That third stomp, which is a big one, didn't take all that long to do. I mean, less than 10 minutes, you know, and somewhere along the way, well, and this may surprise you or, or it may not, but uh, I realized my front tires weren't spinning and I, I don't know, I thought I was in four wheel drive, but maybe it popped out or maybe I just wasn't in four wheel drive. So about halfway through is when I put it in four wheel drive. So you'll see those tires spinning for sure. And that helps get some extra traction, um, especially on these bigger stumps. I mean, these are, these are big stumps. You know, most of the times I don't tell folks that you're gonna be able to tackle things this big on a regular basis, but I don't know, maybe you can. These are dead, so that does help. Um, and it really just depends on how long you want to spend on a particular stump. 
and it can be a heck of a lot cheaper than hiring it out or getting a big old backhoe or something else to do it too. So it can be done, um, but every scenario is completely different. So it's hard to say this is gonna be how long it's gonna take for you to dig out a stump or a, a bunch of stumps, because it's just, it's just different for everybody. You know, if you have one of these stump buckets, love to get your feedback on it too. Uh, leave the comments down there and, and let everybody know on, I don't know, I mean, is it worth it? it? It seems to be, everybody keeps buying them and we get great feedback on it. So um, I love our stump bucket. We have the mini and we have the HD for JDQA, so John Deere Quick Attach, and then for SSQA, which is like the two levers. Uh, so Skid Steer Quick Attach, which the Summit has, and Kubota, and TYM, and most everybody else out there. Uh, we are actually coming out with a Yanmar version of the, the mini stump bucket too. Um, and so that's, so we got the first couple prototypes out there right now. Um, gonna have more of those coming soon too. Now we never wanna stop improving, so we're always looking to make tweaks whenever we can that are you know, worth doing, right? I mean, if it's gonna add some additional cost, well, we gotta weigh that kind of factor too. Um, but we're also thinking maybe we go with like a mega wrecker, something for like the really big like utility tractors, uh, skid steers, all that kind of thing. Our HD stump wrecker is rated for, you know, up to the largest compact tractor that there is out there. You know, we will sell some of the skid steer quick attach HD wreckers to utility tractor owners, um, but that's not really the, the intent for it.
overall, man, fantastic day. Very happy, very pleased with the results. Very happy with the Summit Tractor, actually. Um, it's a noticeable difference in power over a subcompact machine. I think a lot of that power comes from that weight and that traction that you get, which really makes a big difference. But if you're looking for a stump bucket for your tractor, it's a great alternative to a backhoe, right? It's a fraction of the cost. Of course, it can't dig as deep as a backhoe can, but it can tackle all sorts of projects. Think of it like a shovel for your tractor. So get more information on those. You can buy them right on our website, goatworkstractors.com. We'll ship them right to you. Free shipping to most of the country, rewards, financing, we have all sorts of attachments too, so check out what we have to offer. If you enjoyed today's video, we wanna have you tag along, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a comment too while I'm thinking about it. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.